In my time as a world record Gears of War series speedrunner, I've always found it a bit difficult to break these games in the same way more popular speed games already have been. However, that doesn't mean it's not possible. Plenty of folks already know about the infamous crab walk and kung fu flip glitches that plagued online multiplayer for years, but those aren't really useful or even possible in single player speedruns. In this video, I'm going to share all the cool tricks, skips, out of bounds glitches, and unintuitive strategies that I can think of that can be performed in the solo campaigns of Gears 1 and Ultimate Edition. And if enough people enjoy the video, maybe I'll do the same for the other games. So the first one, you like run up here and as soon as you kick the door, load last checkpoint. This one next part just doesn't load after you kick the door again. And uh, oh, wait. I'm stuck. Uh. Oh, am I trapped in here? Oh my God, not the Gears 1 angle. Please, bro. All right, so the next one, is basically Kim Warp. Everyone knows about it, it's in every single run ever. And also, I was told that Hammer of Dawning Kim like, makes it more consistent. I don't know, I'm just gonna go. Cause like, really? You wanna do this? Yeah, they don't know about the door tech. But then he teleports up, presses the button, and you're inside. And then back to back, we go into the next one, which this is gonna be hard on FPS boost. Hey, yeah. Uh, Alright. The collision is like FPS based or something. It's way harder, but it's still kind of easy. But like, I'm not practiced that way. And then you just fall down here. You don't have to fight anything up there or the wretches in the hallway. There's a chance when you get here that kind of the same thing as Kim Warp Cole could teleport. Uh, we didn't get it. I have to try again. Alright, here I can get sweaty too. It fell off. Just like me. We teleported. Fu viability of Cedar 2 skip on insane. Um no. Bring him in. No! Come come. Alright, and then Cole? No, bro! Who is Boom, he's back, baby! Woo! And then if you get that in a run, you save like 40 seconds or something. And when you're going for the world record, you probably reset until it happens. <laughs> The other one that I did right there was a double melee, and the enemies can do this too. I, I don't know if it's like necessarily a glitch or just abuse or what, but if you line up your melee with a shotgun just right, you can hit two times. Troika skip isn't really a glitch, but like, yeah, I can do that. I guess <laughs> checkpoint skip also with these guys dying, right? I was like fighting them and I was like, wait a minute, while I process information. So you can just run down here and uh, he probably doesn't kill you. It's free in UE, not one. Oh yeah, you're so right, dude. On Ultimate Edition, you just run up here basically for free. Look at how he's almost not hitting me at all. You come over here, blap him if you want, and you keep going. I don't know if this is a glitch. It's definitely unintended, I think. But in this part where you have to supposedly lead the Berserker into the doors, to have her break them open. Uh, you can throw frags at them, and the doors will open up, and you can go all the way down with that. Uh, hello. On insane, the doors have more health though, I believe. Or like on other difficulties, not even just insane. You don't have to sit here and hammer Dawn the Berserker a million times on every difficulty. You can just do that. Oh my gosh. And uh, usually she doesn't run at you like that, but it's consistent. It's super easy. Works in Ultimate Edition too. Uh, the next glitch is right here, by the way. It's black screen movement. I might be doing it incorrectly. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Am I there? Boom. So you can move during that cutscene, get all the way over a barrier, turn the corner, run all the way down. I got stuck on a lamppost or something, a telephone pole. But then you can get here and it like overlaps the dialogues and you skip and save up a whole bunch of time. The shotgun as a concept is a glitch. This thing's useless in this game. Exhibit A. All right, so I am just giving this one shot. When you come in here from the previous room, there's a chance Dom can teleport. Oh my God! We got it for the video. Ain't no way. It's extremely rare and I didn't think it would happen. But I'd like to thank the Academy for this Dom warp. I'm so stupid, dude. The video doesn't need to see that. That stays on the stream. Delta Squad is in your house, bitch. Is this a glitch? You be the judge. I don't know. You, you just run down here without pushing the car. It's unintended for sure. And you do that. Oh, I might die, though. 
I've never died. I think there's an out of bounds you can do on the bridge itself as well. I'm gonna try that here in a sec. I forgot about something in act one, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, we're gonna get it now. We looked it up. We're about to get it. On this roll. Uh, bro. Oh my gosh. I have FPS boost off, right? Oh God. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, it's like this. <laughs> we did it. We freaking did it. I'm going. Okay. I'm stuck. Okay. And then I drop. Yes. This is what we're all about. So this is a very common kind of gears out of bounds scene where it's like some of these buildings in the back are half rendered or they have things floating in the sky just high enough that you can see it from like inbounds. This is a huge out of map though. And then when you come all the way over here, like back to the map, you can kind of like peek in. Peek uh, problem is, I don't know if you can get back in. Yo! What? Uh-oh. I'm in a van? Yo! I'm back in the map! And we're behind the checkpoint now. I've hit the checkpoint. I think the game's angry because we're supposed to be past this. There's supposed to be a cutscene. I can't tack com, I can't shoot, I can't... I can pause. I think that's uh, all she wrote. Get this girl off my streets, dude. How many times are you gonna take her out of here? There's no way she's still, that's a bug. That's a bug. I, it has to be a bug. The number of times she just keeps coming back out here without learning her lesson after the dudes up here at the checkpoint die. You can go back here, get stuck on walls, and this piano is one of a kind because you can get on top of it. Out here, this is definitely not intended. You can run through there, jump through the side, and bypass the whole e-hole. You just have to worry about this dude at the end. They patched that out in UE. It's so stupid. And then coming up, you can just run down here. This whole area is illuminated in Gears 1, even though it doesn't look like it. They want you to go up in the window and do some other stuff, but you just run through. And then in Ultimate Edition, they just made it kind of harder. It's like the same thing with more steps. The propane tank is there, and you just have to go shoot it, and it immediately counts as if the whole area were lit up. We're, we're lit up, was lit up, is lighted up. How do you speak English? Holy shit. Same thing here. Obscure propane tanks, just keep going. Who needs them? Taking us right into the next one, the lighthouse bug. I'm gonna run around there to skip a dialogue, and this lighthouse, or the, the spotlight, it persists wherever you're pointing every single time you reload checkpoint. So if I wanted, I could go up and light up the whole street every single time. Here's the dialogue I was talking about. But now we can just run through the, the side here and you can see the street's really dark. But about the time we get to that spotlight right here, I'm standing in the darkness, but I'm completely safe from the krill. In Ultimate Edition, after you do the lighthouse skip, you can, oh my God, uh, <laughs> you can get over here uh, dodge cancel the- Okay, you can go through this wall without hitting the cutscene trigger, which is like right there, or like a little bit closer. And you can go back here where you were never meant to be. Yeah, not too much to do though. Oh wait, we can go through this one. Oh wait, I'm hella out. I'm hella dead. This is so hard. It's like you walk around and like, uh, I missed. Okay, that might have gotten it. But now you can come in here, and this cabinet, or whatever it is, is no longer there. Dodge cancel the krill while the lights are still turning on, and by the time you finish your roll, you are safe again. You can stand in front of the car. Not a glitch, probably, but it's kind of cool. Boom. And then Dom dies instead. <laughs> Look at him go, yo, he's hot stepping! Yo, Dom thought he was with it earlier, check this out. Boom. Do we still got it? We still got it, bro. Moon run. Because like I was saying earlier, collisions are like FPS based to some degree. And the next one is not even possible with FPS boost on. Oh my God. I can feel the frames deteriorating as we speak. Holy crap. I'm like in a low oxygen environment. My life force draining away as I speak. Ugh. Let's do it quickly. So you come over here. And you roll against this rock until it shoots you out. 
and you can run over here looking at the floor because the floor will deload if you're not looking at it. Kind of halfway through there you want to roll and get past a worrisome chunk and then you're kind of good to look up again. But this is a really cool out of bounds where you can go a lot of places but we are using it to drop down by where the corpse is. So you come up here, there's like a little black mark right there and you hang out for a little bit. I hope I fell long enough. I was trying to mentally metronome. Oh, I might be in the floor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's try that. I might still be... I don't know. I might be too high now. There we go. Boom. After that, you can run down here, and if you stay really close to this rock, you'll skip a bunch of spawns. And in here, you won't have to fight as much. There's still a few enemies. On Insane, though, you can't do the skip how I did, going out of bounds. There's a different route that you have to drop down layer by layer, because on Insane, the fall damage will kill you. You pause when you drop down far enough so that the game has time to load in the floor underneath you. It's your boy, the Corpser. Fighting this guy on every difficulty is a joke in Gears 1 Original, because you shoot him a little bit like that, Marcus gets scared, shoot his face, and you can stay in his legs, hey yo, and walk forward with him the whole time. And then the collisions get a little bit weird with stuff on the floor or like a ghost hitbox from the corpse, or I'm not really sure which. You have to walk around like that, run back out of the legs, completely safe, and there we go. On ultimate, you just die if you try to do that. All right, so this, I actually do know how to do. Get right here, kind of walk off and jiggle a bit. Find your little spot. I have like a whole video about how to do this, I'm pretty sure. Get a little push from the wretches. And we're out of the map. Oh God, who's here? He's out of the map too. Okay, when you do this off a checkpoint, by the way, the game lags and freezes and goes crazy. This is not the stream or the recording or anything. It's literally like two FPS for me. And it comes and goes in load bits. I should have killed the wretches. I'm gonna go back, kill the wretches. I think that contributes to the lag. All right, we killed all the wretches and now, okay, still a few stutters, but you can explore a little bit. The regular get back in bounds thing is over here. You walk off of this rock kind of parallel, but the other one, actually, you can fall down this tunnel, which is where there's one of those like scripted in-game cutscenes. Wee! But here's the wretch room where you fight like, I don't know, like a dozen wretches or something. You're trapped in a room. Uh, I've fallen. I've fallen and I can't get up, but there's a corpse or just hanging out down here for when you actually descend. Usually, was that Dom? kind of see <laughs> yeah this corpse over here animates once you hit the trigger because you get here later and this is where it is Ooh. yeah it's really hard navigating down here because it's really dark ah we go there dodge roll Ooh. get stuck in the wall okay you can land in bounds but pretty much you can always get out here it's just a matter of knowing how unless you fall on that pillar I don't know all right, dodge a little earlier. There we go. However, the gears one thing down there where you despawn some of the enemies by going tightly around that, that does not work. But what does work is you go right here. This is the easiest out of bounds you can ever do in any game. You see this? Like I'm just holding forward. And if you press A, dodge roll, boom. <laughs> Goodbye world. So when you're defending the house, and you kill all these dudes. This door that you normally can't get through without going around up to the other side through the stairs, shooting propane tanks. You can shoot a boom or a frag or something. And it'll open right up. And the e-hole is just hanging out. You do still have to go up here to spawn the enemies though. What's up, bitches? This gun's so bad. Oh my God, the rate of fire. You also don't get a checkpoint here in Gears 1 Original. You do an ultimate. I don't know if that counts as a glitch, but it's really just kind of a bad design, because you can die here super easily. Did this guy ever shoot? I got the craziest strats you've ever seen, though. What?! Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist.
Metal Alchemist. In Ultimate Edition, you can actually get out of bounds here in Act 5. Let's see how long it takes for me to get this lineup. Oh no, here we go again. I was in the wrong spot entirely. You go up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, you just do a little walk-off. Now, the real out of bounds begins. This brick wall is real as hell. But eventually, you get to see the outer wilds. There it is. Go behind the wall. You can just run around. It's out of bounds. I have a whole freaking tutorial on how to do this glitch in the next one. So I'm not really going to explain how to do it that much. But basically, you go over here. You hop out with like a nice little lineup. Oh my god, first try. Haven't touched it in years. I almost rolled out too. Don't do that. You can drop down there actually if you want. You can like roadie run and then drop off like that. Okay. This thing goes for like forever all the way back here. But you can like come out here, watch stuff, deload, spawn back in, it goes crazy. Piano. Don't load, don't load, don't load. We're good. And that break wall is where he would end up if we just followed the mission normally. Yo, there's another piano. All the humanoids are dead. We're gonna go back. Come back here. Checkpoint. Start spamming forward and then... Run forward while everything loads. And you go under the staircase and we can turn the wheel. And this skips like through the stairs over there. You see the, the window. There's a whole hallway back there filled with enemies. There's a cutscene we skip as well. And... We hit these buttons, or these switches in an optimal order. The big red wheels. But then we need to trigger the next part to actually load, and that happens after the checkpoint, after the cutscene, which is right here. You just walk up right there. But as soon as you kill this dude, like, you're good to go. Just don't get freaking blapped in here. So at the end of Act 5, when you clear out all the train cars at the beginning, you have to fight a Berserker, but instead of Hammer of Dawning and frag tagging this one, you can actually... Zoop. Do that right before the cutscene, skip the cutscene, frags there, and it blows up that big red thing that a lot of people don't know is there, or that you can even do that. The last thing I guess is just kind of a bonus, it's not really an out of bounds or a glitch or something, but it is something that people probably don't know about. But if you go up here, in with that torque, and he gets absolutely obliterated by this thing. Probably don't do that on insane though, probably. 